we've come down to Castle Pond at Nep to do our own little bit of batting and we've come across one of the campsite managers here and an ecologist who are doing some bat surveying of their own right at the Castle Lake. So they've kindly agreed to let us come harp trapping with them and fingers crossed we're going to have some bats in hand to show you very soon. This is the harp trap which has double strands of soft fishing line. It calls them in using a lure and directs the bats down into a canvas bag below where they can be collected and recorded. So we've set up the harp traps uh, in the woods along by the mill pond and we're off to check them. Fingers crossed we catch some bats. Our first bat of the night is a Daw Benton's bat. So you can see the big feet if you want to have a look from that size. Oh, yeah. They've got quite big feet. Oh yeah he does, isn't he? Yeah. Is so this a boy or a girl? Let's have a look. It's a girl. And so pick things up off the water with her feet, right? But yeah, and she, she's um, she's a juvenile for this year's. Right. So the bones the haven't thing. ossified. Okay. So you see, there's kind of quite a white gap in the joints and the oh, finger yeah. points just down there. Um, yeah, she's she's this year's. She's got a little mite crawling on her. Yeah, oh yeah, they are they they're very, yeah. <laughs> very yeah. Dirty little bats. Oh really? Bentons, yeah, because <laughs> they always kind of nick other bats' roosts and stuff. They're like okay. the cuckoo of the yeah. of the bat world. So there's one. Can you know that one? More? It's quite a good ID feature. Yeah. The little grey belly. Oh, yeah. It's a long eared bat. Yeah, it says it's a brown long eared bat. And it is a juvenile. Wow. Yeah. Uh, this year's. Oh, a little male. Dobentons as well. Dobentons again, yeah. yeah. Lots of little Dobentons. The nipple's quite cranial, isn't it? In, yeah, in it's about yeah. here, yeah. Kind of armpit level yes, or yeah. 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 She's Same fat as little us. So it's, Look how fat she is. And when you said about the bone ossification, you're talking about the, in the yeah, joints, so like it looks a bit in paler, the finger, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so let me take off the. Like almost like a clear band where it hasn't oh, ossified yes, yes, through yeah, yeah. the middle. Yeah. So there's all it's, it's always like translucent. Yeah. 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 So the the finger the joints haven't joined together. So that's definitely a youngster. A youngster. It was this year's. Yeah. Now time to process some bats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh them all first and work yeah. out which one I'm. Put the tag on. Exactly, yes, yeah. yeah. so it's the heaviest, fittest, likely yeah. to be a female. Yeah, you definitely see a little um, different faces and they point your ears. Yeah. So it's male. Oh, yeah. I see it. Sex a bat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's a juvenile from this year. He's only seven and a half, so about there on the joint. Yeah. So that's definitely this year's male juvenile. So just about to release a little male Dor Benton's bat. See him? So that's. Watch him go. Go on, little guy. Oh, there he is. How amazing is that? Okay. So this is our little soprano. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, it's a soprano smell. I smell right? that. It's real musty. musty uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Drip your nose. Get your nose right in there. <laughs> yeah, proper like proper musty smell. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Take them 
They have a lighter face to the common pipistrelle, right? Is yeah, that, they're is that more reliable. You, or? Yes, it, it is definitely. They're generally quite a lot lighter. So yeah. his hasn't got his testes aren't very big. Mm. Normally with sopranos at certain times of year, their testes are massive. So I'd imagine he's a yeah, juvenile. he is yeah. a juvenile. Yeah. Because now, like coming towards the end of summer. Yeah, you know, so they're probably in that roost there. Yeah. He's just popped out for dinner. Yeah. And promptly ended up in a. In a trap, the poor little sod. In a Dolbenton's party. Yeah. In a Dolbenton's party, yeah. <laughs> oh, I found a little mite on this little monkey. Is that one mite obsession going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or a tick, is it? A tick, yeah. wonder has anyone studied ticks on bats? Oh, sure they, they have, have yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. There we go. There's a little mite a bit further down as well. Yep. There's one there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I love stuff like this. No. <laughs> so do I. I don't know. Let's have a look. I'm trying to get the hair off it so you can see. Tiny, tiny stuff. I have, don't I? We have a guy that's really interested in stuff like this. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Are these like specific to bats? These yeah, things? yeah, yeah, oh, they are, yeah. Like bats, yeah. yeah. I'm a bit of a parasitology nerd as well. <laughs> this is a chunky female. Mm, um, I think she's seven a good... Seven and a half grams, is she? Yeah, that's a good face. You mean I'm going to be You mean me? I'm going to be the traitor that brings you to my colony. <laughs> now a third species and one of my favourites. Amazing looking things, aren't they? I love when the ears go up though. Yeah. That's the best bit. They're working out what's to go. How can they get away? Mm. Um, which one did you... Is there a bag to be released? This one here, yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a female juvenile. Seven and a half grams Seven as well. Seven and a half grams, so... We could radio tag her as well, so I'm gonna pop her. So you do a uh, big female dub entrance on her, yeah? Yeah. You left the soprano, right? No, I'm not gonna do the soprano because yeah, we know small. where the roost. No, oh, yeah. we know where the roost is. So we're just about to release a male juvenile dub entrance bat, which is the water bat. See him here. So we've just weighed him and uh, taken his details. You ready? Yeah. So it's it's cutting the the dorsal fur between the shoulder blades. To be careful to get it on the right in the middle of the two shoulder blades, so it doesn't. Um, it's not off balance. So it's not off balance, yeah. and it doesn't upset them when they're flying. Mm -hmm. Easy to come off. Yeah, go on. Okay. And that activates the radio signal. And then that activates the radio signal. I'll put on the receiver in a minute and you can hear it. And then it just pops on there. So I'll just let that dry down for a bit. So the frequency I need to write that down. Okay. You ready? Yeah. We should do the whole looking around thing quite a lot. Come on, sweetie. <coughs> Our biggest bat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Isn't she gorgeous? A big little gnashes. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, not happy, Bunny. Yeah. Look at the muscles on them. That's yeah. what I love yeah. about it. You can see the, the muscles from flying are so impressive. Gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> and look at the hair on the wings as well on the underside. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. And she's yeah. some little mites. Yeah. Or something. Or... Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. they're wing mites. Yeah, sure. their wingspan is amazing on those. They are, aren't they? Yeah. And I've seen them in flight, like in mm. the evenings, they're almost like a starling wingspan, yeah. aren't they? Their fur is a bit chunkier. Mm. Choose her own way, don't you? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. So this is a female natures. Um, oh, wow, that's pretty little. Um, quite hairy. Yeah. Um, pointy ears. Yeah, so they've got the pointy ears and the tragus, so the ears are longer than um, if they if you put the, fold them forward, they go past the tip of the nose. Yeah. Allow me to. Um, the other identifying feature with these, all right. those hairs, the row of bristles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on the cow car, so you can see them there. That's an identifying feature. And they're the ones you often see in hibernation sites. And you just, yeah. They've got the really pale underbellies. Yeah. And quite contrast. I reckon Ryan's got quite a few bats. How did you get on, Ryan? I have a bumper haul from our trap. Really? Really? Nothing in the other two. It was like really? seven or something. You know? Okay. So, small Perfect. bat. Yeah. So, it's a lot smaller than um, um, Dorbenton's. So, yeah. in the size, it's a 4.5 grams bat. Yeah. Um, so they usually go up to about five, maybe six at certain times a year for pre-hibernation. Um, they're very gobby. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Dark ears. Dark, e dark ears, yeah, yeah and the travers. So another thing that you can do if you, um, is to measure the forearm length. Yeah. So you use the calipers and to, to measure the forearm, which can give you an idea of what um, the size. So it's 33.76, so that's definitely... Like in the range, yeah. Little whiskered. And it's under thirty-two. It's an Alcatoe. Right. Um, and are there more noticeable whiskers on them? Oh yeah. No, they're. I mean, they're just. They're quite dark little faces. Yeah, yeah it's definitely darker. <coughs> <than them. coughs> Excuse me. And the ears definitely look darker than the mm. dimensions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bex. So here we have a Beckstein's bat. It's a woodland specialist. Um, this is a. Male Becksteins, who's not too pleased about me oh, wow. um, handling him. Big ears. Fed up next to the larger myotas, so Dorbenton's, Natras, and Becksteins. If you if you compare the ear size, you can fold it forward, and they're almost like they're double the length of mm. the tip past the nose. Whereas the Natras just go beyond the nose, and the Dorbentons are just shy of the 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 muzzle. It's a longer muzzle. As it's well, got yeah. much longer. It's not almost like dog faced, aren't yeah, they? They've yeah, got pointy. much pointy and pointy. His ears are like almost at the size of long-eared ears really, yeah. they're, they're quite big. Um, and this is quite a rare species in the UK, right? Yeah, very rare species. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're probably more common than they're previously thought. Mm. Until about 10, 15 years ago, they thought there was only three or four colonies in the UK. Right. But now since the kind of, the, um, the design and invention of the kind of acoustic lures, it's enabled them to be mm. caught more regularly. And there was the National Beckstein's monitoring service. Again, they're woodland specialists, so they're not yeah. they're not very common. They're rare throughout Europe, so they're rare throughout their whole of their mm. distribution, and they're right at the 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 edge of the range um, as you get towards the middle of England. They're quite common in Sussex, though. We get we tend yeah. to pick them up mm. quite a bit in Sussex. Yeah. So we're just finished doing an incredible night bat trapping at Neh. We got seven species in the harp traps and uh, lots of those I'd never seen before. Five of the species we fitted radio tags to so um, that the ecologist can go and track where the maternity roosts are and then obviously um, they'll be conserved um, for the future. Incredible night.